a man buys an article at a rate of rupees 450 and sold it at x percentage profit so the cost price of the article is given as 450 and he is selling it for x percentage profit right x percentage increase he is selling it then if the second person marks up 20 percentage above so there is another person who is again selling it for again an increase of 20 percentage and sells at a discount of 25 percentage so what does he do he first increases see first the cost price was 450 from this 450 there has been an x percentage increase and that will be your marked that will be your price at that price also this second person is marking it up by 20 another 20 percentage and then giving a discount of 25 percentage and selling it now the new selling price of the article is 486 you have to find out the value of x so net net what is the profit that has happened this is the initial cost price and your final selling price is 486 so what is the actual profit uh, that we have got it is nothing but 486 minus 450 right divided by 450 into 100 that is the selling price minus the cost price divided by the cost price into 100 or this is nothing but 36 by 450 into 100 very easy to calculate this is 4 50 right 2 or 8 percentage right see 36 is 8 percentage of 450 okay so net net if you see uh, through after this complete process has happened there has been an 8 percentage profit while selling the article the actual price of the article was 450 after making all these changes the final selling price is 486 so the actual profit that has come by doing all this is 8 percentage now if you see this question uh, you can use the concept of effective percentage to solve this faster okay you can also use the normal method but i feel that is time consuming here so if we use the concept of effective percentages you can solve it much faster so see if you see all these operations right this increase of x percentage increase of 20 percentage decrease of 25 percentage all these have successively happened on this cost price right so you can use the concept of effective percentages now i have three percentage changes that has happened so how will you use effective percentages first let us consider any two percentages and find out the effective percentage of that then let us consider the other two and then again find out the effective percentage that will be the net effective percentage i hope all of you know this see when there are only two percentages involved we'll just directly do a plus b plus a b by 100 right if there are only two percentages a and b effective percentage of that is given by this formula now if you have two percentages a b and c what you will do take any two percentages first find out the effective percentages the answer that you get with that take c and again find out the effective percentage that will be your final effective percentage okay i hope this all of you know if you don't know i've just told you how to do it now here how will you do we know 20 and 25 are numbers easily we can find out what is the effective percentage so let us first find out the effective percentage of this 20 percentage increase and this discount of 25 percentage so what do you get 20 minus 25 minus 25 into 20 by 100 so here you will have 5 5 or this is equal to 20 minus 20 minus 25 that is minus 5 minus 5 that is minus 10 percentage so the effective percentage of a 25 percentage increase and a 25 percentage decrease is minus 10 percentage so here now next what are the percentages that you have to consider this x and minus 10 so now when i do this what will be my effective percentage it will be x minus 10 minus 10x by 100 see we already know the net effective percentage is 8 percentage we know this answer right or this is equal to 8 that we already know solve for x that's all so what will you get here x terms to one side you will have x into 90 by 100 that is equal to 18 so you will have x is equal to 20 percentage option five this eight percentage the net profit is already given as eight percentage see net net when you do all these transactions finally what is happening what are we doing we are doing 450 into 108 by 100 right eight percentage extra of 450 that is what at which we are selling so that's i know this is eight percentage net net so i just take that final effective percentage to be eight here 
okay see whatever operations that you are doing now if you actually use the traditional method how will you solve it see first will be 450 rupees then when i say that i am selling it at an x percentage profit what is the price with which i'll be selling it for 450 plus 450 into 100 plus x by 100 then again at this price i am giving uh, a markup of 20 percentage means this into 120 by 100 then again i am giving a discount of uh, 25 percentage means this into 75 by 100 basically all these operations is basically done on this base price right from this I am tracing it's like giving a successive change in percentages so that's why I am using the concept of effective percentages any of you who are solving using the traditional method I'm sure this is the way that you have, would have approached it okay